everyone. Happy Thursday to all of you out there. I want to welcome my new subscribers to my channel. Welcome and thanks for um, becoming a Yarny Cat. Uh, that's what I call my subscribers. And welcome back to all my returning Yarny Cats. So I have three things I want to go over real quick. And then I do have a finished object. For those of you that follow me on Instagram have already seen a sneak peek of it. Um, I sometimes will release pictures of things I finished there first um, and then show it on my channel. Okay, so um, in April, YouTube will start, um, how should I say this, T start taking away watch hours that count towards my 4,000. So if y'all could possibly, if, if you have the means to, internet wise or whatever, uh, run some of my playlists to help with watch time. I have several different playlists out there. Uh, one's just finished objects, one's just the lives, one's miscellaneous Monday, several others, yarn hauls, stuff like that. So if y'all wouldn't mind, that would be a great, great help I have about 1,150 more to go till I reach my 4,000. Um, but once I hit that, I won't have to worry about that. All I have to worry about is subscriber count to get to 1,000. Anyway, on to the next one. Tomorrow, me and Alicia of Young 40 Mom will be going live, finally. Uh, we had a couple of problems. I was sick one day, and then one day her power was out. But tomorrow... Uh, we should be going live um, at 6.30 Central Time, and I hope y'all can join us for that. The last little uh, thing I have to tell y'all I'm very excited about, Cynthia's Joyful Creations has her traveling box of joy going around, which there's three boxes, and... Box three is going to be on its way to me January 10th. So I am so excited for that. Um, be watching a video uh, for the video. And I will have Cynthia's channel linked down below. So if you haven't checked out her channel, please do so. She, she is a wonderful lady. She has different things going on. Um, I know one of them is called the Midwife Blanket. Uh, they've already started it for a while back, I believe, but it's um, interesting. So, all right. Um, and then I have to send the joy box off to someone, which I'm not sure if they're going to take part anymore or not, but we will see. So, on to the yarny goodness. I finished my knitted shawl. I have been working on this since November 10th or 11th around there so almost two months now just in case you're not familiar uh, this is the pattern I was doing it's an expression fiber arts pattern I can never pronounce this name right but make sure I have it It's been blocked and everything, and I can't even get it all in the camera, but I just love this, how it turned out. That is what I wanted to learn how to do right there, and this is the border. Let me... So yeah, I am very happy I finished it. Uh, two months of work, but I absolutely love it. Um, so that I will list in the description box, a link to that pattern. It's a paid pattern on Expression Fiber Arts. I believe it was $5, 5 or $7. i am not sure. Now this next one I'm working on, for those of you that tuned in on my Tuesday Live this week, got to see a sneak peek of that also. I This picture did, uh, 
we were running out of ink so it's very dark but it is called pink rain and it's mostly solid solid knitting but at the bottom there is this section here it looks so beautiful and i will also link that down below now this is going to be tricky holding it up because it's a kind of odd shaped right now but this is the border and you can kind of see where the little strings that are going into the stitches down here but it goes well yeah I can't really turn it the right way right now but see if I can at least get it to cooperate I started this on Sunday no Monday correction Monday I finished that one on Sunday finished blocking it so this is what I've done just in like four days and I've got I think 12 more rows before the lacy section so I'm very very excited that one's going a lot quicker I am using Premier Eversoft it's a medium four and this color which is kind of there we go that's about the right color this one is rose um i thought it was a fitting color for the pattern called pink rain so <laughs> anyway um i did i just wanted to knit another shawl but this time not a lace weight so yeah this one's going a lot quicker i, I really like it and uh, it's a very easy pattern as far as the regular uh, knitting <laughs> now the lace part has a lot of different stuff involved um, so it's gonna be where I cannot work on it while I'm watching TV this part I can because it's just knit from one side to the other except for in certain areas after the the border so anyway okay so that is all for today um, let's see yeah I covered everything okay so also I want y'all to um, I forgot what I was gonna say I'm sorry everyone I'm very tired okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and end this here I hope y'all have a great night and I will see y'all later take care bye bye for now